Hello and good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curvel.com and today I want to try something new. Uh, I'm calling it Dax Fridays and the idea behind this is that I will go through a new Dax measure every Friday. So the purpose for this is that uh, both you and I would uh, learn any measures uh, and we can even uh, you know get reminded of old ones that perhaps we are not using that often but they are still very useful so let me know what you think on the comment box i would like to hear your thoughts i will give this a try for a while and see how how it works um Without uh, further delay, uh, today's uh, Dax Friday is going to be about some and some X. We're going to learn how to use them and we're going to learn the difference between them and when we should use one or the other. So let's go through that. For this exercise, I am going to use the North Wind dataset. Uh, I have shown you previously how to download the dataset. It is completely free, so you can do that. Uh, you can go through the video yourself. The link is here and even in the comment box. But if you don't want to do that, you can just download the file, this file that I'm going to show you from the comment box too. So. You decide yourself, either you import the dataset yourself or you can use my file, each way works. So what we want to do today is we want to calculate the sales for the products that we have on the dataset. To do that, we have to use the order details table where we have the unit price, the quantity and the discount. So we have two ways to do this. There are more ways, but we, we have two uh, that involves using the sum function. So we can either calculate it with a measure or we can calculate it with a calculated column. So let's go through that and then we will talk about the difference between them. So if we want to calculate total sales with the measure, we will click on new measure. Let's call this to total sales x. So we know that we're using some x. And now Power BI is telling us that we need the table name and then we need the expression that we want to calculate. So the table name is order details. So we write it and then we want to write the expression. So we have unit price times one minus the discount times quantity, right? So that will give us the actual sales. Another way to calculate sales is to do the same, but do it with a column. So let's do that. Total sales column. And for that, we are actually going to do the same that we did before. So unit price times one minus discount, discount times quantity. If you want to learn how to write DAX fast, just make sure you take, you check out our other video about it. So now we have a total sales calculated column. If we go to the visualization panel and we compare these two, of course they will give us exactly the same values. Let's format them a little bit so they're easier to read. So. So 1.2, 1.2, of course, they are giving us the same values. Now, this is using some X, if you remember, and this is just a calculated column. I always, when I want to have the sum of something, I always use uh, a measure for it. 
Um, the reason for that is that if the name of this column would change, and I'm using it in a lot of a lot of measures, uh, you know, it will mess up the entire report. Uh, so what I always do is I create a new measure. Total sales, and I use the function sum. Total sales column. There you go. And of course, that gives us exactly the same. But if I change the name of this column, then I only have to change it here and not on all other measures that include that measure. Hopefully you understand what I mean. So once I've done that, I always hide this one. So, so now we have a sum x and we have a sum. The difference between them is that the sum x, it goes through every row and calculates it like it would happen in Excel. So every time I think about x measure, sum x average x, I'm thinking about Excel that is going row by row calculating things. What sum does is that it takes a column and it calculates it vertically, right? While sum x calculates horizontally one by one. So that is the biggest difference. Now, the question here is what should I use? Both of them work, obviously. So what is the most efficient one? And unfortunately here, measures are always most efficient. They are not stored in memory and they are just recalculated when you are refreshing things. So it, it is just a very efficient way to do uh, reports. But in this case, uh, we need to have it as a calculated column. And the reason for that is that if we want to use any of the values here, for example, let's say that we want to group uh, the sales by high sale products, low sale products. Um, we won't be able to do it if we just have the data in a measure. So we need to have them. I mean, every time you want to filter your data, you need to have it as a calculated column. Um, so for this, this is a perfect example of when to use a calculated column instead of using a measure, even though you can use a measure. So x, sum x, average x, count x, think Excel, row by row counting things, and sum, count, average, they just go in vertically. So it, it's just like the last row in Excel. That's how I normally think. So X, it will be a cell and like, you know, horizontal and some, it will be vertical. So this is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, let me know by liking it. Uh, Please let me know what you think about the idea of uh, having a DAX Fridays day. And uh, subscribe, I publish uh, at least a video a week. Have a great evening, bye.